Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chase uh, Media channel. I hope everyone hear me okay. I just updated the OBS, so the settings uh, of my audio kind of reset it. So today we're gonna be expecting a very short flight from uh, Sierra Bravo, Sierra Papa. And today we're gonna be flying to Sierra Bravo, Romeo Papa. Uh, right, today we're gonna be flying with the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator provided ATC and uh, we're gonna be flying also with the uh, uh, FS2 crew as uh, an assistant for today's flight. Uh, let me just uh, make sure that the mic is alright on the stream, so... I think we all set with the sound. Okay. So, as uh, I said before, today we're gonna be flying with the Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, provided ATC, and we're gonna be flying uh, the BBJ2, uh, the 737-800 BBJ2 aircraft. If you like my livery, you are more than welcome to download it from the link in the description below on the YouTube channel. If you like me to do a livery for you, you also can reach out to me on Facebook. Uh, all right, so let's jump right into the cockpit. we want to do is go ahead and start sitting up for our flight so let's start sitting up roger uh, okay so there we go with the battery and then let's turn on the emergency lights ground power is available to us so we're going to turn it on as well and the parking brakes are set Let's wait for the aircraft to initialize. There you can see. I think it's in the Airbus taking off right there. Today we're going to be flying a uh, real-time weather and uh, a live time as well, so it's the current time in the airport. So without uh, wasting any time, let's go ahead and start uh, setting up for our flight. So we're going to go ahead and request data from SimBrief on both of our tablets here. Okay, so for the origin, as we said, we got yet a uh, Sierra Bravo, Sierra Papa, so Sierra Bravo, Sierra Papa for our origin. Then we're gonna select core root and we have the RT available to us. So let's set the um, set payload, set fuel, and select RT request.
so we gonna go ahead and download our flight plan to our tablet as well here so oh, let's import it from scene brief uh, this one so that's gonna be a pretty short flight and we're gonna be taking off We're gonna be taking off uh, from one way 17 right that's what we're gonna be expecting now i'm out for the walk around very good so he's out for his walk around let's go and quickly set up our uh, uh, fmc so Oxygen tested on 100% my side and his side as well. Configuration horn. One is okay. Two is okay. Both are working completely fine. Let's go ahead and test the lights. Okay, so all the lights seem to be working just fine for us as well. And the other side as well. Very good. Back to the FMC, let's activate our route, hit execute and uh, let's set our preferences. So zero fuel rate is 51.7 and uh, plant fuel for today's flight is going to be 9.6 and for the result that's going to be, uh, let's set it at 2 and today's flight is going to be cost index of 47 at flight level we're going to be flying at, at 23,000 feet and the average wind is going to be at 223 degrees at uh, 10 knots so this is the weather that we're going to be expecting um, temperature deviation that's going to be a uh, plus 6 16 so that's going to be a minus 14 right there minus 14 celsius hit execute transition altitude will be 8000 feet uh, flaps for takeoff we're going to be uh, taking off with flaps 5 and cg2 23.8 and for our departure we're going to be expecting 17 right via 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 that's going to be via ogx 2a og 2a and with the grid 2 transition hit execute for our arrival we're going to be uh, flying direct to Hi, the security and safety check are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so... We're going to be expecting to end on of approach towards the runway 18. That transition we're going to be getting we will get that final transition from the ATC as we're going to be inbound. All right, so that's going to be 23,000 feet. I believe I did it. Ah, out constrained at OGX. Let me see. Out constrained OGX. So that's going to be 25. Let's say, okay, so let's do 25 then. Okay, so 
so those gonna be our fees uh, take off speeds and let's reset the altimeter the altimeter is 3015 and it's in hello Santiago how are you uh, that's gonna be my call sign in MSFS I think it's next one six but this flight uh, no obviously we are not connected to the uh, VATSIM right now so um, they did implement something new so I did not research it at this moment uh, they changed the way you file the flight plan so didn't have any chance fly on Vatsim after they implemented the change uh, but maybe we will connect uh, later on let's see uh, you know what let's try to connect to Vatsim so where is the vpilot vpilot let's check if we can file our flight plan so if we gonna go to uh, Yes, okay, so let's uh, import a flight plan. Let's open SIM with I believe I saw something that you can just copy there. So ATC flight plan. Process, let's see if it's to 25,000 feet okay let's see if we uh, I'm back. No uh, issues on the walk around. Filed, apparently. Let's see. If you're gonna be appearing on the map, so Santiago, you might be able to see me on the network right now. I'm gonna check. Uh, oh, so the network for myself. Let's see. Okay, so we are connected to the server right now. And all of those are not VATS in those probably bots. I think we are connected to Watson, let's see. Sync rate. Pull up. Terrain. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Terrain. Flight slow. Bank angle. Bank angle. Approaching minimums. Minimums. I'm gonna refresh the map. 1, and see if we have the appearance on the map. 
I'm not appearing on the map. Okay, we're gonna look in the Twitter later on. Let's uh, finish up our uh, setup here. So, we're gonna be departing from runway 17 right, so in case we're gonna need to return to this airport, We're gonna go Hi, ahead here's and the fuel slip. Thanks, welcome. Have a nice take flight. This uh, ILS Yankee chart here. So, we're gonna use it in case we're gonna need to uh, return to the airport. And we're gonna set uh, the final course to 169. So, that's gonna be 169 over here. Six nine for V two speed that's gonna be one four three and for the heading uh, we also gonna set one six nine in case we're gonna need to fly the runway heading for some reason And the first officer side also we're gonna set the final course to 169 and then we're gonna turn my flight director to master flight director to master the first officer side is gonna be slave but further is armed vnav and lnav are armed as well let's go on to the radio so uh of all our departing localizer will be 109 decimal 109 decimal 3 I'm gonna set it to active and 109 decimal 3 okay at our destination we're gonna be expecting and uh, on our approach uh, for the frequency, I'm gonna set a uh, unicom frequency already because we might gonna be flying on the VATSIM network. Uh, for the secondary radio, so we're gonna set it to the local 80s, which is one. Mm, the 80s over here is at 127.6. That's a mile six, uh, 65. Okay, so 127.65. That's a mile six five set it to active for our destination we're going to be expecting an hour of a push to runway 18 and the 80s over there will be at 127 that's a mile 425 so 127 that's a mile 425 Okay, let's get our 80s. Cognitive airport information, Alpha 
that we should be on the network but there's also some aircraft over the over here as well supposed to be nearby if you want you can see the blue one there which is now gone is supposed to be a vaccine pilot So I found me. Uh, so it's supposed to be that the flight plan was not filed properly. So let's see. So Santiago, um, you should be able to see me. I'm at the uh, gate medium. I think it's the only gate that we have here medium. So let's see. Let me see that exactly the number of the gate. There's one way 17, and that's gonna be. Hi, guys, gate. here's the load sheet for you. Zero three, I guess. Thanks. No problem. Have a safe flight. All right, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and do the pre flight checklist. Uh, Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Navigation transfer and display switches. Normal, auto. Windows heat, on. Pressurization mode selector, auto. Flight instruments. 
heading 258 altimeter 1021 set. Heading 258 altimeter 1021. Parking brake. Set. Engine start levers. Cut off. Pre flight checklist completed. like the APU on? Okay. Starting the APU. Your so Santiago, you are able to locate us? in the AP right now. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay, okay. And we should go ahead and start. APU on the buses. Very good. Let's do a short uh, departure briefing. So we're currently at the gate and pushback will be required. That's non uh, fast will be rated. Uh, let's run this brief. Are you ready for the departure brief? Go ahead. Okay. It's going to be a standard pushback and start off the gate. Taxi route will be as assigned by ATC. It will be a left seat takeoff. Using rated thrust. Landing a flaps 5 takeoff. Anti-eyes will be off. Above 80 knots, we will reject for fire, engine failure, loss of control, or wind shear. The crew member noticing the abnormality will clearly state the problem. I will call reject or continue. If the decision is to reject, I will close the thrust levers and disengage auto throttle. Observe or apply maximum braking, race speed brakes, apply maximum amount of reverse thrust consistent with conditions and bring the aircraft to a complete stop on the runway, stow the speed brake, and set the parking brake, advise the cabin, this is the captain speaking, remain seated, remain seated. I will then perform any necessary memory items or checklists as appropriate. If an evacuation is required, I will initiate the evacuation checklist. In the event of an engine failure after V1, we will continue the takeoff, rotate at VR, haul positive rate gear up, and cancel the master caution. There will be no other calls below 400 feet. At 400 feet, I'll call for a roll mode, then call confirm the failure. If required, we'll perform any necessary memory items, climb at V2 to V2 plus 20 to 1,000 feet AFL or TOCA, whichever is higher. Retract flaps on schedule. When flaps have been retracted at or above, flaps up, maneuver speed, call for level change if VNAV is not engaged. Set max continuous thrust and call for the appropriate emergency checklist. We are under our maximum landing weight, so we are okay to make an immediate return. The departure routing will be via the ATC assigned SID, complying with all published speeds and altitude restrictions. No noise abatement procedures required. LNAV and VNAV are armed. Flight directors are on. Mine is master, yours is slave. Navigation radios are set. The NOTAMs and the aircraft effect log have been reviewed. Any questions, comments, or concerns? No questions. Departure brief complete. Okay, so for uh, V2... No. Um, okay, so... Nope, nope, nope. 
I want this one. Yeah. So V2 will be uh, one, V1 one will be one two eight. V rot it will be one two nine. Uh, two nine. V two uh, one three eight. Okay. Uh, deck of flaps will be uh, 15. Ah, oh, okay. 15. So again, so V1, two, 1, 2, 8. V rotate, 1, 2, 9. And V2, 1, 3, 8. Twenty-eight. Let's see if we need to. Okay. So everything seems to be all right here. Are you around here, Santiago? I don't see any F eighteen. You're airborne or you're currently at the... At the airport somewhere. Okay, so we have two minutes before our departure. Let's go ahead and um, you know what? Let's wait for. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board our flight today. Direct your attention to the cabin crew for important safety information. There is an instruction card in your seat pocket that illustrates the safety of uh, the aircraft. Door light here. Regulations require compliance with this information as well as all crew instructions, lighted information signs, and posted placards. Fasten your seatbelt by inserting the metal tip into the buckle. Tighten by pulling on the belt. To release your seatbelt, lift the metal flap on the buckle. It is our policy that you keep your seatbelt fastened at all times while seated. Doors are clearly marked with exit signs and instructions for door operation. Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Flight deck door closed and locked. MCP. V2138 heading 169 altitude 9000. Takeoff speed. V1128, V rotate 129, V2138. CDU pre flight. Completed. Rudder and ALR trim. 3 and 0. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Completed. Anti collision line on. Before start checklist complete. Style sequence is 2, then 1. Style sequence is 2, then 1. Check. Is this you, Santiago? Maybe I don't have the F-18 in the file, so maybe this is why it's displayed like that.
Uh, parking brakes are on list. Start engine number two. Start and engine two. Bravo, ready to taxi IFR. Chase one taxi two and hold short of runway one seven right via taxiway November. All pressure. Taxi two and hold short runway one seven right via taxiway November Chase one. Short taxi, I'm gonna be holding just right from the 17 right here. Okay, starter cut out number two stable. Start engine number one. Start an engine one. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Okay, and we have all pressure. Number one is coming alive. Starter cut out. Starter cut out. And the uh, number one is uh, stabilizing or just. Number one stable. Very good. Flaps 15. Check. Flaps 15. Control check complete. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generator on. Probe heat on. Anti ice off. Isolation valve auto. Engine start switches continuous. Recall. Checked. Checked. Check. Auto brake. RTO. Engine start levers. Idle detained. Flight control. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Clear. Before taxi checklist completed. Clear left. Clear left. Clear right. Okay, 
Okay, so Santiago, maybe yeah, I think you might be gonna be taking off before me. And I'm gonna take off just after you. Flight deck. Okay, thanks. The cabin the cabin is secure. checklist before takeoff checklist flaps flap 15 green light Apollo tower TOL 12118 miles northwest inbound ILS X-ray runway 17 right approach flaps 15 green light stabilizer trips 4.8 units at before takeoff checklist before takeoff checklist completed Okay. Cabin crew, take your seats. Clear on the approach. Clear for takeoff one way one seven. Ready to go. Right. Approaching. Cleared for takeoff runway one seven right chase. Right. Okay, so Santiago after you. Runway one seven right. Now Santiago is upwind, very good. Take off. Apollo Tower, Lawn Tree 090 Niner, one zero miles northwest, inbound ILS X ray runway one seven right approach. Speed check. Brasilia Center, Chase One is 
passing 5,100 feet, climbing 9,000 feet. Copa 700, climb and maintain Flaps flight up, level set. 350. Chase 1 Brasilia, central altimeter, tree 0 decimal, 1 5 radar. Contact, continue to FP 104. GOL 1447, descend and maintain flight level 210. Chase 1, keep speed, not above 250 knots. Speed not above two five zero knots. Chase one. Chase one contact quarantine the center on one two six decimal one. Good day. The level. GOL 2146 climb and maintain flight level 240. Chase 1 climb and maintain flight level 200. Climb and maintain flight Jack level 200. Jack Fishman said stand dead. Standard set. Pass and flight level 084. Now. Climb and maintain flight level 240. GOL 2146. Check. Maintain vertical speed. Maintain. Clear of conflict. To see those moves on the demonstration jet. Flight level 100. Happy to release the captain. Okay. Stand by. Okay. Okay. Maintain vertical speed. Portable electronic device. Okay. Transmitters. Or any other device in the transmit mode. Because these devices may interfere with the aircraft's communication and navigation systems. I think we're gonna go ahead and engage our autopilot. Autopilot on. is off. Corotiba Center Log 775 is at flight level tree 40, climbing flight level tree 40. Log 775 Corotiba Center Radar, contact continue to Sierra at Alpha Tango. So 
reason I can't control my own cockpit The cockpit is stuck. The virtual cockpit is stuck. This is the Climb first time I see uh, such a thing, so... What the hell is going on? Instruments on the stack. Let's see if we can slow down for just a bit. Everything is stuck, right? Yeah, everything is literally stuck. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do. gonna do we need to land this aircraft somehow Airport we took off from with the help of Novigrad. Okay, so as you can see, our systems are stuck, which I think in real life that's not gonna happen to hopefully to anyone. So we're gonna go ahead and descend. Go ahead and descend here to to ten thousand feet. So that's gonna be uh, challenging. Mercenario is still behind us. 
okay Santiago so we're gonna be returning to the same airport <laughs> as we took off from this is the first time I see that thing that everything everything is actually stock so as you can see all the systems are actually stock so we're gonna go ahead and return to the same airport we took off from so let's do that but currently we at the 19,000 feet that's uh, the information we get from Novigra at least this thing is still working so we're gonna actually land with Novigra help Is the controls are not stuck so there's that let's see if we can deploy gear let's go down for the capital and can see if we can deploy the gear to land as you know we're gonna be landing on the belly without the gear all the systems are stuck so we're gonna be crash landing let's take a turn over here currently coming out out of uh, 7,000 feet here uh, not, sorry, not 7,000 feet, about uh, 15,000 feet. This is the first time I've seen something like that, that all the systems, uh, that is a bug, right? I, there's nothing in the world that, you know, <laughs> can be related to it, that every single system in the aircraft is actually stuck. So, all the backup systems as well, all stuck. No gear, no emergency gear, nothing. But at least the controls are still open. Ah, you see my uh, gear, right? That's good to know. So at least that. Let's see if, let's see if the Microsoft Flight Simulator will, uh, on my end, feel like the gear is down. <laughs> Okay, we can't 
With the help of the long growth, I see that we can see at about uh, indicated as best of uh, 240. Coming out out of 10,000 feet. GOL 1568 Cortiva Center Altimeter 30 Decimal 10 Radar Contact Continue to be AIAN. GOL 1568 Climb and maintain flight level 190. I hear the flaps lever, you know? Let's see. I hear but nothing. Climb and maintain flight level 250 GOL 156. Let's see, the trim is working. The trim is actually does work, but no sound. So all the surfaces are actually working. The gear is not displayed. Okay, okay. So the airport's supposed to be on our uh, right side right now. GOL 1568 contact. Let's snap down. Good day. Let's see if we can do flaps 5. Well, let's say, uh, hit to once to again. Uh, Something like where if you can six. see that there uh, are flaps set to five. Mm. feet right now, 6,500 feet, no, nope. so we're gonna be probably landing without the flaps, let's see if uh, flaps 15, 10, 5, I feel like the aircraft is deploying the flaps, and it gives me the feeling of Flap deployment. No flap. But the gear is, uh, the, as you can see, the gear is down, right? Okay, so the airport's supposed to be on the our right side right now. I'm gonna be flying too closer to the ground. Four thousand feet right now. About four thousand. Okay, so you can see flaps, gear down, okay, gear down, no flaps though, okay. Just 
flap the flaps on my end they supposed to be set on 30 do you see any flaps See if we can land this thing. So no gear and no flaps, but Santiago says that he sees the gear down. Okay, so without anything working on our, this aircraft I thought that's gonna be the runway out there but it is but it isn't See the wrong way, okay. That's it. We will make it there.
Okay, so let's prepare our belly. Crash landing. <laughs> we have an aircraft on the runway. Uh, but uh, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be fun. You know what, let's, let's try to go around. Let's see, I try to go around and we will uh, we will uh, reset the AI traffic here, so. Disable, disable the AI traffic so we can make sure that at least we did everything possible to land this aircraft as uh, move AI traffic. Okay. So the AI traffic is supposed to be reset right now. Let's go ahead and circle around. Currently flying at uh, about uh, 4,000 feet at 100 with an indicated tail speed of uh, 180. Thanks to, to Novigrad that we have at least uh, those things to see. Because without indicated airspeeds and the GPS on the Novigrad side, I'm <laughs> able to land at all. Even though it is, uh, the map has its own delay, but it's still something that we can use to guide us back to the airport. So.
curious if the tablet are walking. No, the tablet is walking. So we have the tablet on board as well. Establishing on the runway once again. Start looking for the runway. And I see the runway. We have the runway inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. The gear is still not visible. Well, but we're gonna be trying our best to make this aircraft survive, so. a bit here 
video. So the belly is ready. Everyone is ready to to crush landing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, watch. So, yeah. <laughs> Check. Okay, Santiago is also landed with us here. Let's clear the runway. systems actually available to us this is actually pretty new I don't know if you experienced it on the PMDG <laughs> but uh, I think it's because of the new version so after we have managed to land here the next the next thing I want to do we won't be able to cut off any engines right so this is actually is not possible without the virtual cockpit so the thing we're gonna be doing is uh, let's try to restart I uh, think So we just back as we start. Let's see if we can. Okay, so the virtual cockpit is back on. The parking brakes are set. No, let's set the parking brakes. Okay, so everything seems to be back to normal. And because it was a short flight, I think. 
Santiago said uh, that his landing gear is failed. Oh, I think uh, we saw that our uh, gear, although did not disappoint, even though it was visible, <laughs> invisible, sorry, but did not disappoint. Okay, so we are not gonna be waiting on the FS to crew. Um, you know what? Let's do that, uh, but we're gonna be doing this quick. So let's go ahead and we'll launch the first officer here. Let's start setting up. Let's start setting up. Roger. Okay, okay, okay. Don't listen to me, please. Uh, so. So we quickly gonna this time we're gonna, not gonna be flying with the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator ATC, but gonna be trying to complete this flight uh, on our own. FMC position, we are currently, let's go ahead and load this uh, flight to on our uh, tablet, is back, back on our tablet. So, Sierra um, Bravo, Sierra Papa, Sierra Bravo, Sierra Papa. So now it's gonna be lit. Yep. Uh, yes. 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 Request. Hi. The security and safety check are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes. Thanks. Okay. Load it up. Utap link is loaded. Uh, let's set frequency to one two two. That's somehow means zero, so we can be we will be able to uh, hear other pilots on the network. And let's see if we can uh, complete this flight without any. actual issues activate execute departure departing via runway 17 right hit execute uh, UG2A transition I'm out execute. for the walk around. Okay, so he's out. Uh, we're gonna be using last known position. A plan for our flight, that could be 
sorry. For the result, that's gonna be a two. Uh, two for the reserves, uh, cost of 48, uh, flight level 25,000 feet. That transition will be at 8,000 feet. Departure, takeoff is uh, going to be flaps uh, 15 with a CG of uh, 23.8. Uh, let's turn those on. Those are our expected takeoff speeds. And arrival going to be via ANA to runway 18. Transition Romeo Papa 1. Okay, departure legs. Very good. So the FMC is basically all set. Let's go ahead and set the uh, flight directors. Mine is master. The is is slave. Autofrontal is armed. Flight directors on. VNAV and Delnav are armed. V2 is going to be one three nine. Uh, altitude we're going to be living it at a uh, at uh, 10,000 feet the final record for now we're going to set to 169 which is the runway heading so in case we're going to be continuing for any case we're going to need to fly the runway heading just in case so that's going to be ready for us so hopefully uh, the aircraft won't uh, the virtual carpet won't stuck at least not this time so I'm back no issues on the walk around okay so he's back and turn on the APU if you want to depart from here as fast as we can Request uh, GSX to appear here. Okay, you know what? So we 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 will upload GSX soon enough. So. So he's gonna up. run for his uh, wind shear. Checks. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Airspeed. Pull. Airspeed. Pull. Sink rate. Pull up. Terrain. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Terrain.
Hi, here's a fuel slip. Thanks. Welcome. Have a nice flight. Are you ready for the departure brief? Go ahead. Okay. It's going to be a standard pushback and start off the gate. Taxi route will be as assigned by ATC. It will be a left seat takeoff. Using rated thrust. Planning a flaps 15 takeoff. Anti-eyes will be off. Standard reject actions to V1 as briefed. From V1, or if the calls continue, I will continue the takeoff as per the standard company procedures. We are under our maximum landing weight, so we are okay to make an immediate return. The departure routing will be via the ATC assigned SID, complying with all published speeds and altitude restrictions. No noise abatement procedures required. LNAV and VNAV are armed. Flight directors are on. Mine is master, yours is slave. Navigation radios are set. The NOTAMs and the aircraft defect log have been reviewed. Any questions, comments, or concerns? No questions. Departure brief complete. Brief flight checklist. Brief flight checklist. Brief flight checklist. Okay. Brief flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Navigation transfer and display switches. Normal. Auto. Windows heat. On. Pressurization mode selector. Auto. Flight instruments. Heading 258 altimeter 1013 set. Heading two five eight altimeter one zero one three. Parking brake set. Engine start levers cut off. Pre flight checklist completed. Hi guys, here's the load sheet for you. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. Thanks. Today. As you locate your assigned seat, no problem. Have a safe flight. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the GSX to prepare us for pushback and departure. Hopefully this time uh, none of our system going to get stuck. checklist a four-star checklist flight deck door closed and locked mcp v2139 heading 169 altitude 10000 altitude 10000 takeoff speeds V1 127, V rotate 129, V2 123, flight completed. Water and air trim. Four protect units. Three and zero. Taxi and takeoff brief completed. Empty collision light on. Before start checklist complete. Start sequence is one, then two. Start engine number one. Start the engine one. Now be turned off. Reading light buttons are located above your seat. Thank you for your attention. Oil pressure.
Starter cut out. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine. Number one stable. Start engine number two. Starting engine two. Cockpit to ground. All we pressure. have a good engine start. You can disconnect. I'm watching here. Starter cut out. No Number two stable. Flaps 15. Flight control check complete. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generator on. Probe heat on. Anti ice off. Isolation valve auto. Engine start switches continuous. Recall. Checked. Checked. Check. Auto brake. RTO. Engine start lever. Idle detained. Flight control. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Clear. Before taxi checklist completed. Clear left. Clear left. Clear right. Flight deck. Okay, thanks. Captain, the cabin is secure. Great. Before takeoff Check. checklist. Before takeoff checklist. Flaps. Flaps 15, green light. Stabilizer trim. 4.8 units. Before takeoff checklist completed. Sao Paulo traffic chase one is departing on one seven right. Runway entry procedure. Okay. Cabin crew, take your seats. Clear on the approach. One seven right. Ready to go. Rotate. Ro 
take. Positive break. Gear up. Gear up. So power 400 feet. Just one is clear. The other ones are good. Flaps, flaps one. Speed check. Flaps 15 set. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps one set. Flaps up. Speed check. Flaps up set. Set flat level two four zero. Flight level two four zero set. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Engine bleeds on packs. Auto landing gear up and off. Flaps up, no lights. After takeoff checklist complete. Happy to release the cabin crew. Okay. Check. Okay. Okay. Position set standard. Standard set. Pass and flight level zero eight seven. Now. Flight level one zero zero. Captain release cap. Okay. Check. Okay. Okay. Portable electronic devices may now be used to with the exception of the radios. So our systems were stuck about in thirty thousand feet. Like uh, in our first flight. Gonna be approaching that altitude right now. Let's see if uh, everything is continuing smooth as it uh, did up until now. This was the turn that we got stuck in. I'm 
somewhere though. Bank angle. Yep, yep. Set flight level two five zero. Flight level two five zero set. Let's engage our, uh, you know what, not, not yet. We're gonna be engaging our autopilot just about 1,000. Set. 1,000 feet before our uh, cruising altitude. So, cruising altitude will be set to 25,000. Sending in just about 40 to nautical miles. But you can already look at the forecast. That's supposed to be a pretty short flight, so that's turned into something, right? the level. So we're going to be also eating all the way, all the runway in our destination. Okay. 
Sierra Bravo or Mio Papa. So I would like five nautical miles from it, ten nautical miles from it, and thirteen nautical miles from it. Very good. Let's see our plan. And let's hide the yuck for a second here. This will be fine for home your papa, home your view, all, and then making a turn to the There are one eight right. A one eight. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set the and start our approach briefing so Are you ready for the approach brief? Okay. The arrival routing will be via the ATC assigned star, complying with all published speeds and altitude restrictions. For NDB approach, planning a flaps 40 landing. Final approach fix altitude is 3,700 feet. Decision height is 2,830 feet. Missed approach altitude is 5,000 feet. Taxi route in will be as assigned by ATC. We'll be arriving at a gate. Descent speeds and navigation radios are set. Airport notems have been reviewed. Any questions, comments, or concerns? No questions. Approach brief complete. Ok, 
let's perform the descent checklist. Descent checklist. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Landing altitude is one eight zero zero feet. Recall. Check. Auto brake. Level three. Landing data. Viraf one three five minimums. Two eight three zero feet. Viraf one three five minimums. Two eight three zero feet. Approach briefing. Completed. Descent checklist completed. Set flight low zero five zero. Set flight level zero five zero. Flight level zero five zero. Set. going to be started the descent any moment right now. Check. Any moment now. Yep. Start our descent earlier. So we begin our descent right now.
center fuel pumps off. holding just about the about the airport but also there is a possibility that we gonna be descending just in time Kevin crew, prepare for landing. Fly level one zero zero. Ladies and 
gentlemen, as we start our descent, please make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in their upright position. Make sure your seat belt is securely fastened and all carry-on luggage is stowed underneath the seat in front of you or to overhead bin. Please turn off all electronic devices until we are safely parked at the gate. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be arriving at our destination shortly. If you are making a connection to another flight, please see the customer service agent meeting the flight or video monitor inside the terminal for connecting gate information. For your continued safety, flight attendants will now walk through the cabin to secure it for landing. We'll be collecting all service items, newspapers, and any other items you wish to discard or may not be taking off the aircraft with you. Also in preparation for landing, please turn off all electronic devices. Stow these devices and so then all other carry-on items. Please use caution when opening overhead bins of items we have shifted during our flight. Please stow your tray tables and return your seats to their upright position and check the security of your seatbelt. We will be landing shortly. Thank you. Transition set standard. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Landing altitude is one eight zero zero feet. Recall. Check. Auto brake. Level three. Landing data. Cancel the checklist. Cancel checklist. Cancel checklist. Flight deck. Okay, thanks. Cabin. The cabin is secure. Cancel checklist. Cancel checklist. Oh, look at this talk. We are off 135 minimums, 2830 feet. V ref 135 minimums, 2830 feet. Thousand to level. Approach briefing. Completed. Descent checklist completed. Transition set altimeter one zero one three. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps one set. Flaps five. Speed check. Flaps five set.
Hey Santiago. Hoping to complete this flight without any incidents now. Been pretty good so far. Check. The description does not work. Okay, let me check that. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna check that one again. Again. Probably... Um, I didn't use it too much, though. Drop this link. Radio altimeter alive. Cabin crew, take your seats. I'll try this one. Flaps 15. Speed check. Flaps 15 set. Gear down. Okay, got distracted though. Okay, as soon as the gear got to be down, it is annoying. A level disappears, so... Just bear a bit for a second here. There we go. Flaps 30. Speed check. Final approach fix. Height checked. Missed approach altitude is set. Flaps 30 set. Speed check. Flaps 40, set.
approaching minimums. Approaching minimums. 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 Ah, continue. One thousand feet, stable. Approaching one eight. Five hundred feet. Four Break up. Versus normal. Nine. Sixty knots. Remaining. Okay to clean. Okay to clean up. Roger. This one was uh, pretty better than the last one. The last one was uh, a film friendly, but you know, we didn't have any systems available for us. So let's exit here. I saw it was about 120 about FPM. Okay, let's exit here. The, yeah, there we have the Landibird monitor. Uh, 118 APU on the buses. SPM. Uh, pretty good, I'd say. Uh, at least we made it. We made it with all our instruments operational. Operational. Exit here. Let's turn here.
three minutes. Pumper set, engines out. Uh, the fly, what uh, the landing rate? The landing rate with you was about 200 uh, feet per minute. That uh, was uh, 200. That uh, it was a firm landing order there. With all the instruments out. But still, uh, the passengers uh, should survive that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and parking brakes off. off. Lights and doors. Check. Lights and doors. Check. Cabin crew disarm doors and cross check. Okay. Let's get GSX to start the deporting procedure. Shutdown checklist. Shutdown checklist. Shutdown checklist. Fuel pumps off. Curl heat off. Hydraulic panel set flaps. Up. Check. Up. Parking brake. Released. Engine start levers. Passengers cut off. Coming. Weather radar. Off. Off. Shutdown checklist completed. Secure the aircraft. I wish we had an uh, weather radar. Secure the aircraft. Secure checklist. Secure checklist. IRS off. Emergency exit lights off. Window heat off. Packs off. Secure checklist complete. All right, finally we got to our destination. It was supposed to be a pretty short flight. Roger. Check. Yeah. Never mind. You can go home. Yeah. All right. So thank you very much for joining uh, me, Santiago. It was a very fun to fly with you today. And uh, I hope to see you on my next flights. Let's shut our down completely. So uh, let's go ahead and turn off the ground power and turn off the battery. And there we have it, cold and dark as we got her. Yeah. Uh, so all the passengers are survived our flight. So. Okay, doesn't get better than this. Anyway, thank you very much for joining. I'm much appreciated if you could like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitch. And if you are watching, please uh, also feel free to leave a comment in the section below. And I hope to see you on my next streams. And uh, uh, thank you very much for joining me, Santiago, and have a great day as well.